Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu Ivanovana. I'm here to show you an animation using the Joji Brown software. And let me import the image of the animation so that you can understand how to do the animation. Okay, so this. Okay, I think this is the animation I want to do. Let me bring it out. Yeah, this is the animation. Let me hide the algebra view. Okay. Let me remove the axis. Let me enlarge it a little so that we can see it clearly. All right. Okay, so this is the mechanism I want you to see. So this AB is the link, the main prime mover. So as AB rotates in this order, you can see a fixed point. You can see a point C between the link B to D. And this point connects to another link, which is CE link, and which is attached to this slide. And this slider reciprocates in this vertical order. Then there's another slider attached to the point D here, which also reciprocates in this order. So as this link rotates, AB rotate, transmit power to BD, and from BD there's a point C, which links to point E, and this slider slides here. So let's just demonstrate this one together so that you understand how you can do this. So let me start with the fixed point A by getting your center let me take this as my center let's say somewhere here okay then let's get our circle let me take circle with this center and radius two okay then we get our point on the circle which is this all right then you label the set the point so we name this as point a okay then you name this as point B. Okay. Alright. So B is the point that will go around this circle. Then let's connect with the segment A to B. So that is settled. The next thing we need to do is to get this straight line A to D. So that we know where point D we reciprocate on this. So, but okay, let me do that first. Get my straight line on point A going through this. Then we need to get where point D we be inclined at angle 45 degree. Let me mark, get a line on this point. Should I take this point? Mm. Okay, let me just take it somewhere here. Let me take it somewhere here. Okay. So what I need is the angle 45. So I need angle from here A to this point to this point. I want it to be 45 degrees. So let me turn this angle. Okay. That is 45 degrees, which is this angle given. So point D is going to slide on this link. So we've settled that. So the next thing we need to do now is how do we get the point D? Because this point cannot slide on this link. So we need a circle on B that we pass through that line. So we get a circle center of B. Let's take radius 6. Let's see how it goes first. Radius 6 looks short to me. Let me increase the radius to... Let's um, do this. Let me take the radius to 8. For example, let me try 8 and see. Okay, I think 8 should do the work I need. And let me just take it to 9. Let me take it to 9. Let me try 9 and see. Okay, I think 9 should be better. So before I move, let me get my point of intersection between this line and this. 
which forms my point D, this point. So you label this and call it point D. Okay. So let's hide the lines we don't need, which is this line. I don't need to show it this line. I don't need to show it this point. I don't need to show it the angle itself. I don't need to show it this. I don't need to show it. I don't need to show this. I don't need to show this. Oh, let me put this line back. Let me put this line back. But I'll use an hidden line to represent it. Let me use hidden line to represent this. Okay. So this is my point D. Let me trace it and see how it will go. That means as B rotates, okay. D we reciprocate in this order. So we are doing well. We got this one. Okay. Then let me join it. Now I need segment this to this. Okay, so this is settled. Now between B to D, there's a point at called point C. So we can just create this point. We can get a point. Let's locate it somewhere here. Let me just put it somewhere here. Let's say somewhere here. So this is point C on this member, but it need to be on a fixed point there. Let's leave it here. Let's rename it as C. Okay. Now as B moves around, it carries C along. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It carries C along, then C connect to point E. Let me get my line. Need my line. Let's put it somewhere here. Put it somewhere here. That means I need a circle now from point C. Let's take a radius of six. Let's see. Okay. Think this one should be okay. Let me use five. Think six is too big. Let's take five. I think five is okay. So I need my point of intersection between C. No, no, not that. Let's undo it. Need my point of intersection between this circle and this line. And the point I need is this point. And that is called point E. And this our mechanism is over and done. You connect with your segment to E. Then every other line that is not needed, you can hide it now. You can hide every line and point that is not needed. You can hide them now. You can hide them. You can hide them. Yes, let me put my trace on this point. Trace, let me watch how it will go. Let me even hide this circle. Let's see. Yes, so this is what we are saying. Okay, so let me put a small sliding box to so get your circle center. Let me take one. Let me get my circle yes. Let me also take one. Let's get a polygon. Let's take something like this. Something like this. 
something like this something like this let me do on this side too something like this okay let me try and make it straight Let's try and make this one straight also. Okay, let me make this straight. Okay, I think it's reasonable like this. The next thing is we hide this point and circle we don't need. Hiding. Hide the point and circle you don't need. What is this? So now mechanism is done. Let's trace this point then do the animation let's watch okay it's turning the animation the link supposed to turn like this but I'm, I'm, our animation is going like this let me stop it you can see the power button here just do some settings then you go to advanced let me see algebra okay so algebra I will go to let me go to decreasing let's see okay yes so this is what I want so as blink a b which is point b as you go around you can see the two members are the slide in this order so this is the mechanism we are talking about so that is it let me stop it let me see if I can let me try and position this delete this and do it again okay Let me hide all this. Let me hide my graphics. this now so this is the mechanism I think this is better you can see the slider following this order so this is all I have for us in this mechanism you can see how it works you see how we produce it as a B rotates take power to BD and B and point D reciprocate on this point on this line then point E reciprocate in this side. So this is the mechanism I want you to see and understand. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.